Uh, my name is Heather Bose. I'm a lead security engineer at Lumen Technologies. And, uh, and, the, and during the hurricane, we ended up running a lot of our appliances off my Tesla Model 3. So I know the same thing exists on a um, gas car, but the, the difference with an electric car is that it runs all the time. Like the car never turns off, it never turns on, it just is awake or asleep. So I went ahead and ran out during the storm and I, I ran a 100 foot extension cable out to the car. I plugged it into this, this adapter and then plugged it into my center console and I ran my fridge, our battery charging station and our T-Mobile off of it. And I also have a Starlink, couple Starlink dishes and I went ahead, now I can't run Starlink and the fridge in the same, at the same time because I have the base model car. But if you had a bigger car, you could do all of it at once. For example, a Rivian will act as a home generator for your house. So it was kind of funny because um, I, actually, I actually had this set up not for a natural disaster, but for camping, because it's really convenient to have internet and your, your food refrigerated and charging your batteries while you're out and about. And uh, this saved our bacon. We ran off of, we ran off of this for five days and it used 10% of range per day. So I could have run off the setup without power for 10 days. On day three, the supercharger on Woodruff Road was back up. I went ahead and charged it to full. I moved the fridge to my parents' Nissan Leaf and they ran its little, it's not quite as easy to do, but the same concept applies. So on your typical electric car, the battery runs the length of the bottom of the car. So imagine that much battery power for you. Uh, it turns out driving uses a lot of power. So the equivalent of running that is this setup for 10 days. So my next step is to get some sort of EV truck and use that for powering everything. But for right now, this is, you can get a 2022 one of these for like 15K in Atlanta, like they're cheap now. So uh, my mom is diabetic. We kept her insulin in the fridge. I went ahead, and this is another discussion, but I had a, I set up a little ad hoc mesh SD-WAN set up with Starlink and T-Mobile. And uh, so that way we had internet the entire time. So it was just really nice. So <laughs> not at all excessive. <laughs> my, what was funny is that my husband works for BMW and a lot of them were offline because of Spectrum and he, he was crowing during the meeting. He's like, we're running our, our house off the Tesla. And I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Uh, any questions before I watts end? Uh, 150 watts. So, uh, and like I said, this is a base model. This is a Model 3 performance, so it's like the highest trim of the base model. But yeah, go ahead. You. Is, is there any uh, wear and tear on the batteries from using them in this way that you're aware of? Uh, eight year warranty still applies. So uh, they, they, um, an eight year warranty is required by federal law on every electric car sold in the US. So as long as you don't void the warranty, which I would if I, for example, side loaded a, a little version of Linux that isn't supported by Tesla, which I also thought about doing, because that will void the warranty. But as long as you're running the stock um, software and you use the center console with an adapter, just like you can a gas car, but the difference with a gas car is that you have to actually leave it running all the time and you, it's unsafe. So, next question. Yeah, um, you might mention that the older um, gears are, are fairly cheap. Yeah. What's the lifespan of, a bat of the batteries on the I, From what I understand, I, after, it doesn't just, like the eight, year the eight year warranty applies, but from what I understand, it doesn't just stop working on the eighth year. So just like your phone, which is a very, dinky version of the same setup, it just gets less cool yeah. over time. I plan on either selling, I will probably sell it after the warranty expires. This is a 2021. Any other questions? Do you have to put it in camp mode to keep it from turning off? Now I do, the latest patch. I don't know if you heard about that. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is running off of Sentry. Uh, so I have the car recording all the time at the house. Like I'm a little paranoid, I'm a security engineer. Um, the patch that released after the storm which it kept asking me to download during a storm. And I was like, uh, now you have to have it in camp mode and then you have to lock it by hand. So uh, annoying, but I get why they're trying to emphasize safety. Any other questions? All right, that's my talk. Thank you all.